All right, I have compressor lockouts, low temp rack A. So, I couldn't get oil in this one or that one. I was able to get oil in the first two. I don't know if you can see it. I changed the uh, filter and the strainer. I got oil in these, but still could not get any oil in the back two. Compressors three and four. So what I did was, I hooked the gauge up to the suction and closed that valve down. And then pulled it down to around zero or a little below, shut it off. And then just to see how fast it would rise up. And it shot up pretty fast, up over 100 PSI. So it's blowing through. I'm gonna have to take this apart, check the heads, check the plates. Uh, but right now I have it valved off. And it looks like more, a little bit of oil actually came into compressor three. But I'm gonna do the same test and I'll just show you kind of how I go about it. So, I already have the cap off. turning that suction valve in. Sorry, I'm all over the place. slow. I mean, you will get some seepage uh, through because you know, it is a worn compressor and there is uh, still refrigerant in the oil. Alright, so I went ahead and I put a tag on this compressor. Um, I don't have time to pull all the, the heads off and check the plates right now. 
The rack seems okay without it. Um, I gave this one another bump. Started it up and it's holding. So the valves, the valves are okay and the compressor three. So I'll, I'll get that back online. And uh, looks like I am getting a little more oil in it now that this one next to it isn't just passing through. So, uh, you know, I just went, I turned the, the, the control switch off and the breaker for the contactor. And I'm also going to go ahead and go into the controller. See, this store's weird. Alarm's present, alarm scan, no alarm's present. But, so, I'm just going to go into the controller. So, here, I'll, I'll kind of explain because you can't see it. This is a Novar. So I just hit refrigeration, controls up here, compressor is the top one, and the bottom is outputs, view outputs, compressor 4, it looks like it had a bad point, and they moved it to 5, I just had to do that on rack D, and the contactor went bad and blew the relay on the output board. So I'm just going to go put the code in and forcing state off and you have to force it active. Okay. And then you see it's highlighted green. So COM4 is forced off. I have it tagged. So I'm going to turn this one back on. Let it run, and I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to get back here. I'm going to order uh, valve plates for this. I can use them at a number of other stores if, if it ends up being a piston or something that I'm going to need a new compressor for. So it's an EY series. I'll order that up turn, get them, take it apart. Like I said, if I can fix it, I'll fix it. If not, I'll have to order a compressor. But <laughs> if this one's back online, we should be okay until I can get the parts. Right, thanks for watching.